Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here. So I just wanted to do this quick video as like <clears throat> a brief reminder that the truth will be exposed in life. Um, you know, I, I did this former video on how it's just trusting in divine order with kind of everything that happens. You know, darkness can take a hold or a lead on certain things in life and then eventually the light will come through. And the way that I view a lot of things now is because I've studied um, something like astrology. I remember when I was a teenager, like 13, 14 years old, I'd always be like hiding down the new age aisle when I would go to the bookstores with my mother and I would read a lot about astrology. And I do think that you can use something like that tool as an empowerment to understand your own spiritual growth or spiritual karma, um, your own psychological state and kind of understand your strengths and weaknesses. Um, I have a lot of fire, like I have Aries and quite a few my, oh, sorry, quite a few planets in Aries, and that can be very impulsive. So understanding and reading and digesting that has taught me how to be less impulsive in my life. So where I'm going with this is um, if you do look at, you know, humanity on the progression through an astrological lens, <clears throat> we transition from the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius. And Pisces is two fish swimming in two different directions. And you have to understand what each sign rules. So something like Pisces rules beauty, and it does rule art, um, you know, things like movies, it, it rules money, it's the fish of the underworld and the upper world. So really you see this dichotomy of like that yin and yang, or like the upper world and the underworld. It's the most mystical sign in the planet, or yeah, in, in the zodiac. And so if you look at kind of from 0 AD to 2000 AD, you have all of that medieval era which was really you know dark and gross in many ways but then you have the other side which is very like mystical like Sir Lancelot you know falling in love with Guinevere and and all these mystical stories and things like fairies and you know you have the Vikings of the underworld and the uh, overworld of the the tree of their the tree of life I can't think of it Yugoslav or something like that um but anyways it does rule establishment, and you know how much dark and seedy stuff has been happening behind the scenes for thousands of years, and that was the whole point of the incarnation of Christ, was to bring light and awareness to allow people to spiritually growth in the next 2,000 years of entering a quote-unquote kind of a dark age. <clears throat> and, um, and as we've transitioned to more of the age of Aquarius, what is happening is if you look at the sky, the water bearer has a pitcher that is pouring water out. And, and that in itself is very, uh, you know, the water is symbolic to our brainwave state mainly. If you look at the zodiac sign, it's kind of like these little waves, two or three waves. So that is very more symbolic toward the mental airwave sign. I mean, now we have things like radio waves and microwaves and things that humans have never had over, you know, the last five, ten thousand years. It's just been in the last hundred or so years. Um, but when you're looking at that sign, that water is pouring out of the picture, pitcher, and then it's flowing into the fish. So in one way that you can interpret that is that the water is pouring the fish down the river. So in that sense, it's symbolic to pouring the fish or the establishment down and away from uh, down the river to bring this new form of illumination and enlightenment with. And so as everything is happening in its own divine order, the ups and the downs and the chaos and maybe darkness has a foothold on to humanity for a certain amount of time and we have the consciousness on whether to you know play along with it or go in the other direction and follow more quote-unquote spiritual divine slash God's order God's uh, <clears throat> more godly energy the light and not dabble into certain th things like drugs and hedonism and a lot of promiscuity you can start to see that Aquarius is starting to illuminate or bring or expose a lot of the light that's been happening. Obviously, the last four years when we have a quasi-anti-establishment uh, president coming into play. I mean, the whole 2016 ele election where two anti-establishment guys, basically Sanders and Trump, going head-to-head -head with each other, that all this crap's getting exposed. 
Jeffrey Epstein and that whole situation is getting exposed. The Catholic Church has been ex getting exposed for the last 20 or 30 years as boys or priests have been caught molesting little boys. All of this stuff is is being illuminated. You know, even something like a Hollywood movie that Dark Water is exposing how we've been poisoned through Teflon pans that were created in the 50s and the 60s. All of this stuff is getting exposed, but Aquarius has a very dark, all signs have a light and a dark side. So if you look at the age of Pisces, that Renaissance time, I mean, you look at the beauty of fashion. So basically art and fashion is all held under the sign of Pisces. And look how beautiful the clothing and the homes were. Um, you know, you look at like Napoleon's house. Holy crap, it was amazing and beautiful and very pristine. But the guy was kind of nuts as well. Um, you know, Pisces is like the sociopaths of the Zodiac. And Aquariuses are like the narcissists of the Zodiac. So you see this rise in this level of sociopathy and, and the dark triad. So we have to understand the energies that are playing with. And a lot of the people who are not conscious are getting caught up in it, especially through the media and the news. So... Just know that the truth will be exposed in its own divine timing. If you <clears throat> are living a life of lies, eventually that's going to come out. For example, every cheater in a relationship eventually always gets caught. Somebody who's on the run or stealing or somebody who's committed murder, even if they're not found within the immediacy of 30 days of committing that crime or that murder, sometimes it takes 30 years I mean, how many times have we seen people getting committed for crimes that for some murder that happened in 1978? This stuff always comes to light. The light always wins. That's like the root basis of every silly Hollywood movie and Marvel movie is that light always wins. And people believe in that, but they don't believe in that. They believe in that in a fantasy, you know, video game slash Hollywood movie world, but they don't know that that's really the programming that is ha that can happen in your real life. So the truth will always be exposed. And right now we're seeing this deep, dark, seedy corruption that has been happening for so long. And it's getting exposed. And one day the whole truth will come out. That truth might be next week. It might be in seven years. None of us knows because that's the divine timing of it. But if we continue to lead, live our life moving forward, <clears throat> all of that will be exposed. And so <laughs> that's why, you know, I went through my like quote unquote awakening in 2015 and 16 with like the mass scale of crap that was happening when I was living in Germany. I kind of felt like I woke up from a 30 year coma. I was like, oh my God, Living in Seattle, I was just like spiritual hippie girl that just thought we were going to hold hands around the world and just all get along. And I kind of woke up like, what was I thinking? I was so blinded by that life can only be so positive that I completely forgot to believe that there are people completely capable of doing corrupt things and things that I wouldn't do. I was just blinded by like, we're all going to hold hands and... Yeah, I just said it was like waking up from a 30-year coma. Like, holy crap, the truth of everything. Like, why we dropped like 26,000 bombs in the Middle East? Like, I had no clue because I was not reading the news or I was just always like, yay, liberals, you know? it's <laughs> Now I'm just like, wow, the a bird takes two wings to fly and, you know, this corruption is just deeply seeded into all different areas of the political spectrum and food and you know, it's like, why is the yogurt industry the main supporter of Susan G. Komen? Like, eating a shit ton of dairy is not going to help cure breast cancer at all. It, it, You know, it's like, when you know these things from an exercise science standpoint, you kind of start to see that money rules everything, and eventually the truth gets exposed. And now we've seen how broccoli and all these other foods are actually the anti-cancer superfoods. But, you know, that's nobody has a broccoli campaign it's, you know, all of this stuff is rooted to the USDA farmers, uh, to Monsanto, pharmaceuticals. It's really gross, but it's all getting exposed. Some of it's been more exposed 
some of it's slightly getting exposed like Jeffrey Epstein. Holy crap, I think I'm going to do another video on this on how much dirty money is floating around the spiritual industry, which is why you need to be really be careful on who or what you're letting what information you're letting get absorbed like the Chopra Foundation has money rooted to Jeffrey Epstein. So, you know, it's pretty disgusting. But once again, the moral of this video is that the truth will be exposed. And it will happen in its own divine timing. And the truth will get exposed in your own life. I mean, I've had, I've lied before and then I've had that completely backlash and blow up in my face. And that was like a slap from the divine just being like, it was like a warning sign. It's like, no, you cannot lie about this or that. You know, that was like something in a relationship. But anyways, <clears throat> I hope you have a good rest of your day. If you have any thoughts, please share them below. But last video and this video kind of go hand in hand with each other that it will be exposed. Um, it's happening. It, you know, change and exposing the truth doesn't happen overnight. Things happen quicker now because of technology and social media. But it doesn't happen that fast. All right. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you have any comments about this, please post them below. We can all learn from each other. Have a great day. Bye.